Hello Virgo, welcome to your Halloween reading. We are gonna get right on into it. I have labeled the different sections with, with fun Halloween things. So we have the King of Pentacles, we have the World, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Knight of Cups. So you have the King of Pentacles, whether you're a man or woman does not matter. This is indicating that you're feeling very stable or as you move forward, you will be feeling a sense of stability. Something in your life has come to an end. It could have been a situation. It could have been a thought process. It could have been an actual, an actual ending to a job or a relationship, something that may have been a little bit overwhelming, but it's in order to bring you to something new. Now, this could be something that occurs as a result of the blue moon as well. So just be aware of that when we have a full moon, sometimes it brings endings in order to make room for a new beginning that's coming down the way. So whatever this world card is here, whatever happens with that, try to roll with it because it's always for a greater purpose. All right, so we have two cards here for the cauldron, which is what you can use to manifest your dreams, your hopes. We've got two cards for your fears. Let's see what you don't see coming. All right, what you don't see coming. Oh my, the Knight of Pentacles. It almost looks like the death card. but <laughs> So the Knight of Pentacles is when something is moving very, very slowly. You can't quite see the positive movement because it feels like it's just moving so slow, so slow, but yet they're still bringing the offer. Somebody's still bringing something beautiful to you. Okay, so the Hierophant is what is going right and well in your life. That's what the candy jar is. What's happy, what's wonderful. So there's a connection between you and another person that you're feeling very content in as you roll into the full moon. And so that's very likely why we also see the King of Pentacles because this is somebody who's loyal, somebody who's committed as well. And so we see that there's somebody in your life that you feel a strong sense of deep connection with. Well, what seems to be hidden here is this Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is, a, is communication that brings balance. And it's possible that you may be connected with somebody who's not expressing themselves in a way for you to feel that sense of balance, to feel that sense of contentment, although it is working very well for you. Now, we do see that your advice is to speak loving, kind words to this person, to be kind even if they're not doing so to you. And so it's to be romantic, to be charming, to be, you know, that beautiful energy of the Knight of Cups. Now, in your fears, we have trust and we have um, risk taker, rule breaker. Oh, my. Okay. So whomever this is that you're connecting with on a romantic front with the Hierophant, there is something that has occurred in the past that has made you fear being able to trust this person. There's something that is, is preventing you from fully 100% trusting this person. Maybe it was because there was an ending in the past. Maybe this ending with the world is something that's already occurred and you've moved past it. But there's something that's preventing you from having faith that this is gonna move forward in a good way, from having trust in this individual. Now with the risk taker rule breaker card, you may be concerned that this person is just gonna suddenly do something that's going to be shocking to you as you move forward. Like maybe they're a little bit unpredictable, a little bit sponta spontaneous, but unpredictable as well. We have the energy of creation. So you're manifesting your dreams, your wishes, your hopes, which is fantastic. And we have the, the energy of pleasure. So it's saying to, you know, take joy in life, take joy in your connection with this person as well, which is beautiful. So those are working for you. Let's see what else we have for you as we roll into the full moon energy of Saturday. We have the six of wands. We have the queen of pentacles. We have the page of cups. We have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. Ooh, you are 
fighting hard to keep this connection going. It's very likely this connection had an ending before in the past. Maybe you're focused on manifestation, keeping things moving forward. Um, any communication the two of you have had, you're kind of keeping it to yourself, that sort of thing. And there is this strong desire to hold on tight. Stand your ground, hold on tight to this particular person. So there's a strong focus on relationships for you, Virgo. Now, the energies that we see, we see Sagittarius, we see Virgo and Leo, we see Pisces and Aquarius, we see Taurus, we see Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, we see Leo, we see Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Virgo. So here you are, standing strong in the Queen of Swords. So, interestingly, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So we have complete clarity that yes, this is indeed a romantic relationship. Somebody is in some form of romantic relationship at some stage of the connection. We do see that this has made you feel the sense of being on top of the world, feeling happy that you've got this person in your life. I think that's also why you are fighting very strongly to keep this person in your life. Likely been through a time of healing from a past hurt, a past difficulty, because we see that, that there's some trust that has been broken. Now with the Page of Cups, I do feel that you guys are kind of in this little playful stage, maybe very pleasurable, um, but a playful stage of the Page of Cups. That's being fun and flirty and living in the moment, enjoying the time. However, I see some fears and worries here of yours. And I, it looks like uh, it looks like Virgo, that's related to the this, this sense of trust, the sense of hope, the sense of faith, and the fact that your person may be unpredictable. So there's some worries. Is this gonna go forward or is this not? Is this gonna go up to a new level of commitment or is it not? It's, it's some worries about that forward movement. And with this Queen of Swords energy here, I feel that you're figuring it all out. You're taking some time to figure it all out to determine your direction and what's best for you, which is fantastic. I think that's that's super important. What's our next card? Eight of Swords, more worries and fears. Worries and fears of a lack of communication. So some worries and fears are gonna hit you with this moon. And uh, that's not unusual for you, Virgo. So let me advise you that if that does happen, to focus on the things that, that are bringing you joy in your life, to focus on the communication that you do get from this person or that sense of happiness that you're feeling in your life in general, and try to release the fears the best you can. Uh, the full moon is about releasing those things that are negative and holding us back. And so I feel that that's going to be very important for you is to release these fears, release these concerns, release these worries. All right. Love and light to you, my dear Virgos. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.